nobody can directly compare all the car design schools in the world because nobody just studied in all of them, right? Even if somebody could do that, the comparison would be very personal opinion of this person. It wouldn't be an objective result. So you can guess that I will not tell you this car design school is the best in the world. I can tell you which car is the best in the world. But if you stick to this video, I will tell you how to find the best car design school for yourself. If you do a quick research about car design schools, you would find some of the most popular ones. For example, Art Center College of Design in Pasadena, Royal College of Art in London, Coventry in England, SPD, IED, IAAD in Italy, CCS, ISD Rubica, Umea, and fourth time. And there are many more options if you go deeper on your research. But the question is how to pick the best one. There are three things to consider and let's talk about them while sketching a car together. First of all, it is a very personal situation. You really need to consider your own taste, your own vision about car design. You should check the graduation shows, you should check the previous students, you should check who is teaching there and also if this university has any collaboration with big brands. And after checking all this, you can understand if this education is more about purely aesthetics or a little bit more about technical solutions, or they care about the scenario more, or do they have other transportation design projects, yacht projects or different type of spaceship projects, a little bit more conceptual thinking or problem solving thinking. Or some of them will purely focus on aesthetics, like still what would be the V12 engine super sport cars aesthetics or another one will focus on the technical part a little bit more than the others and find out more practical solutions by design and this way you can find which school is more into your needs like which one is more interesting for you because it's very important to keep this passion and match your vision with the school if possible of course Second thing you need to consider is also very personal, but it's more related to your financial or more of your lifestyle situation. Because some of these schools are very expensive. Depending on where you are from, depending on your current financial situation, you might not afford it. Or you need to check for sponsorships or scholarships to be able to study in these schools. For example, Royal College of Arts in London. After you pay the school, you should also consider that you will live in London which might be very costly. Or rather than financial stuff, there's also other things you need to consider. For example, Fortsheim, let's say one of the most difficult schools to get in for masters because they have very, very limited seats. It's a public school. As far as I know, there's no payment to get in there or a very small cost compared to others. However, there are hundreds of people, hundreds of students applying every year and you need to be like the top 10 to get into the course. So if your portfolio is not that good and at the end you are looking for an education, you need to consider other options maybe. Or you can say, I can sacrifice one more year, I can prepare a new portfolio and I can apply again, it's also another option. Or let's say the English language. If you are not confident with your English and the school requires very high scores on some exams and if you cannot match this requirement on the given time, again there are two options. Or you will study English and improve yourself and apply for the next year or you can consider other schools which don't even require an exam for this. For example, when I applied in Italy, SPD didn't require an exam for English. We just made an interview like this, a video call, and they evaluate themselves my English if it's enough or not to study in this course. Or let's say you don't want to go super far from your city. Let's say you are living in Europe and you don't want to go to United States. It's also another thing to consider because there might be really personal reasons or financial reasons or as I said some other reasons that you need to consider to pick the best school for yourself. And the third thing you need to consider is actually more like you need to keep in mind because whichever school you go, even if there is a dream school of yours and you can manage to go there or let's say this dream school of yours is too expensive or whatever so you cannot go there, doesn't matter, you need to improve yourself a lot because the competition is super high. Even if you go to this dream school, let's say you have some group projects or you have brand collaborations, but at the end of the two years of your masters, let's say, if you have very similar portfolio to the other students, it unfortunately doesn't work this way. You need to add something more personal. And also today, everything is changing super fast. Schools are also adapting it. Everybody's trying to adapt to these new changes all the time, but you really need to filter these changes and improve your own skills also yourself out of school. You cannot only show your school projects on your portfolio right after you graduate. I mean, you can do it if you are really the best one in your class or like if you're on the top two, top three, 
in your class, probably your projects are really impressive and really good enough. However, it's very risky because rest of the class will also have similar projects and you are competing with in the same race. So to get out of this race, to add something additional, to jump over to another category, you need to do additional projects, you need to show yourself in an additional way. Maybe you will learn another software, maybe you will learn another way to show your projects, another style that you can grab from somewhere else and combine it with your school education so it will get a better portfolio at the end. So it doesn't matter if you go to this dream school or not, you definitely should push your limits and be different than the others. I know all this stuff very well because just a couple of years ago I was on that point. I was graduating from my masters and I was lucky enough to get an internship and then get a full-time job as an exterior car designer. This is also why I'm doing these YouTube videos and I have my online courses to teach you some additional stuff so you can bring your skills and your portfolio to the next step. You can see the details of my online courses in the links in the description. As a bonus thing in this video, I want to mention about how I made my decision. I'm from Turkey and we don't have a car design school in Turkey. So I decided to study industrial design first. And there were some design competitions which awards you with a scholarship to do your masters abroad. So I participated in many design competitions and one of them awarded me with this scholarship. So basically they paid for my education for the whole master's course and I was able to pick most of the car design schools. However, I missed the deadline for half of the schools and I didn't want to wait one more year to apply, so I already eliminated them. And for the rest of the options, SPD was very appealing for me. So already, as you see, the financial thing was not a problem anymore because of the scholarship, but the deadlines played a very good role for me because I didn't want to spend one more year. And SPD was very appealing for me because they had a collaboration with Volkswagen Group. It was very important to see professional designers during my education. And another advantage of SPD was they didn't require any English exam or anything. So we just did an interview and after that they approved my English skills are good enough and I was already accepted in the school. So as you see, I also made a very personal decision. Step by step, I eliminated some schools and I focused on what is the most important for myself. And anyway, I knew that self-improvement is very important. I want to emphasize this one more time because I will give an example from this school. Like we had around 20 students in my class and while graduating, only four or five of us found a good internship opportunities immediately after graduating. And I was one of them and I think it was really related also to my self-improvement. Of course, it was also related to the network opportunities of the school because SPD was collaborating with Volkswagen Group. So from Ital Design, they came and picked the internships themselves. So it was a very good opportunity. But on this picking process, on the portfolios, rather than showing only what I did in the school, I showed my additional projects to show my own passion and to show my own vision for car design. So it doesn't end after you find the best car design school for yourself because you need to apply for internship and everything. And if you want to see step by step how to be a car designer, you can watch this video right here. By the way, I hope you enjoyed the sketch. What do you think?